Hello and welcome to another episode of Raman Rewinds. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about uh, one of the new ball partners of Kapil Dev, talking about uh, Karsan Gauri, affectionately called as uh, Kadubai by everybody. These two ensured that uh, not many century partnerships were put up against India, and that was tremendous uh, given that. Uh, all the openers of other countries uh, felt that um, they would perhaps have less challenges because of the lack of firepower in the indian bowling department as far as the new ball is concerned but all that changed when this duo got together and uh, the batters who were looking for some easy runs realized that they had to really face a stiff challenge i'm talking about a forgotten hero who was a left-handed all-rounder who has put up good numbers in uh, the 39 test matches that he played and he also made a lot of impact as far as uh, india winning a few games during his career in those days um, test cricket was primarily left to a uh, specialist uh, not many people with uh, multi skills were seen on the field of play but kadwai was um, different he was primarily a left arm pace bowler who could be useful down the order with the bat and what he also did which is unique at the time was that he also bowled a bit of left arm spin too of course uh, all of you would have heard of uh, the legendary gary sobers doing just about everything on the field but as far as uh, the indian fans are concerned they are all uh, astonished and also really pleased that uh, they also had somebody who could do different things on the field of play uh, it's uh, remarkable that uh, kapil dev and karsan gauri uh, did not really uh, allow the batters to put up big partnerships such as uh, their combination kapil dev the one who would make the ball leave the right handers and karsan gauri would obviously angle the ball to the right handers and also bring the ball back in and if nothing else worked the captain always had the option of uh, making a kadwai ball left arm spinners if the conditions warranted it kadwai as a cricketer was obviously unlucky not to complete his double of course he picked up uh, in excess of 100 wickets but um, he just needed about 87 runs to complete a double but that was not to be because uh, he was uh, dropped uh, unceremoniously even though he had done extraordinarily well in uh, the test matches uh, that uh, he played last for india we all looked up to uh, our senior cricketers and kadubai was definitely one of them in fact he was also the pin up boy those days in his uh, playing days extremely handsome and uh, Uh, whatever he did was really uh, imitated by a lot of youngsters and uh, of course um, kadwai the person uh, is somebody absolutely fantastic uh, i've had the fortune of um, uh, being with him in a few camps later on and both of us took to coaching and uh, he was top class he was always willing to help uh, the cricketers and help is one word uh, is just that you have to ask kadubai and he'll be there no matter how difficult it may be for him he'll somehow try and find ways and means to help you and just to give you an example of uh, how he was as an individual and is also his propensity to help others uh, he had um, obviously signed a contract with one of the state sides to be the coach for one season and leading up to the season one of the youngsters went to get into a conversation with kadubai and he remarked that um, he was going through tough times and that he was in uh, desperate need of a job can you believe what happened next kadubai calls up the association he had signed a contract with he tells them uh, that um, he has to pull out for his uh, personal reasons and then he also goes on to say that uh, he has got a suitable replacement if not a better one for uh, the state side uh, to be handled that year and obviously kadubai being uh, the persuasive man that he is and the fantastic human being that he is 
the association authorities had no problems at all in accepting uh, what uh, recommendations could be put forward and uh, he obviously ensured that this guy who was uh, desperately in need of a job because of a, a financial situation at that point in his life got the job and uh, can you imagine that happening anybody sacrificing uh, uh, whatever it is that they had so that somebody else could benefit who was definitely in need of it that's the kind of uh, person kaduba is and of course um, he's got friends all over the world now, it's very difficult not to like kasan gauri because uh, not only uh, did he like to help people he always was um, full of laughter full of life and he liked to enjoy life i remember seeing kaduba as a youngster um, uh, playing a major role in that victory at melbourne in 1981 when uh, uh, india beat australia defending a low score in the fourth innings much later kaduba uh, took up the job of uh, the head coach in the fast bowlers uh, wing of the nca that happened in chandigarh and uh, the trainees who attended there are obviously full of uh, praise for kadubai and uh, it was a pleasure working with him in different camps at the nca and uh, as far as i am concerned he is one of those rare individuals who was obviously hard done by during his playing days but uh, never ever resorts to ranting kadubai was uh, easy going and he could fit into any age group of people uh, and uh, that's the reason he's so popular with uh, not only cricketers but also people of different age groups always there uh, having a laugh with them and uh, uh, having a good time with all of them so kadubai uh, it's been a pleasure knowing you and uh, quite obviously i'm sure that even as i'm uh, recording this about you you'll be uh, very keenly involved in helping somebody or otherwise having a laugh somewhere in some part of the world with somebody and uh, that's what kasan gauri is to me I like to wind up by saying until i catch up with you be good and stay safe